Okay, what I'm doing today, I'm um, doing some gel prints that I can um, later ink over. And I got to thinking I wanted some that, um, in, in the way we were doing the uh, neurographics, I was doing it over a gel plate that was already printed different colors. And I love the way that looks. But what I got to thinking is, why don't I, the line work, why don't I paint that on the plate, color in the cells, and then I can have a page that I can work with just the black uh, marker or um, fine point pen or whatever. And uh, so I wanted to try something that I could do with that. So what I did was I got out one of these brushes. I've been dying to try. These are those calligraphy brushes. And I'm going to, I've, I'll show you the colors that I've got. I've got, uh, these are all golden open. Pyrrole orange, Indian yellow U, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, phthalo blue, and uh, dioxine purple. And I mixed one of the blues and the blacks to get, uh, with the black to get uh, what I'm going to do my lines with. I don't want it just plain black. So I'm going to mix this up. And this plate has been thoroughly cleaned and conditioned lately, so it's rejecting some of the paint in places. And I was going to re-clean it, but then I thought, you know, I really like that. So I'm going to start out the same way I do when I'm doing the neurographic. I'm not going to worry about where these lines are separated too much. I want nice thick lines because I'm going to come in with a fine line pen when I do the decorative work. And I will fill in like we're over here where it's totally, see how it's rejecting the paint? Right now that's not as good a thing in the lines, but I like the way it looks when you're doing um, the fill in work. I have done one, no, two sets of these. And I really like the effect. And uh, we're going on a camping trip the end of March. So I wanted to have something where I could take just individual sheets to work on. And I like that. I'm going to put a little bit more water in my, in my paint. I'm going to do the same thing we always do when we're doing neurographic stuff, fill in those sharp corners. But only this time I'm doing it with a paintbrush. I love painting on the gel plate. I've done mono prints forever. I've been doing a lot of printing um, different ways because I'm gonna I'm gonna start a doing some videos on how you can do printmaking even though you don't have a press. It can be just as satisfying. I'd like to have a press in here, but you know, honestly, right now I don't have room. And someday I may maybe get a smaller press in here. Because I do kind of miss it. I mean, when I was in college and printmaking, I spent, I was working full time at the time and going to college. But every other spare minute I had was print, was spent in the studio, bent over the press, getting all my stuff that I'd done printed, or all the plates that I made printed. Really didn't like doing additions, I'll have to say that. And that was one of the requirements we had. We had to do so many of each thing that we did. Additions can be a pain because, you know, especially if you're fussy, you want them as close as possible to, to one another. All right, see what I mean? See how cool that looks where it's separating? Now, I will clean the plate when I'm done with this process, and so I won't be getting so much of that. But also, I watered down the paint, so that's also making a difference there, too. But I'm going to let this dry for a little bit, and then I will be back to work on the next part of it. I believe that is all we need on this part of it. 
So I will be back. Okay, as you can see, I did not let this dry all the way, and the reason why I didn't is because um, I'm going to try and pull it up a couple times. I'll show you when I get to the end, I'll show you the one I've already done, because I want to have a couple sheets with this basic design on it to um, ink up later. Now, what I've done... Clean this paintbrush a little bit, or I need some cleaner water in out here. I've been working a lot out here, so basically, I'm getting it. Just let me make sure we're in. There we go, it's much better. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill in the little cells. I'm going to stay away from the outside because you can, I think you can see that it's still wet. Now, if I, I don't, if I don't want to pull this up in one pull. I wouldn't have used Golden Open, or I would have done this and gone in the house and come back hours later. I just went in long enough to get me a sandwich. That's what I went in for. But um, I'm going to do the little areas up. But I'm going to try not to get too much of the black in, but if I do get some of the black in, that's no big deal. We'll start with a dark color. And I'm not trying to fill the space with a flat layer of color. And I'm not worried about getting to the edges. And you'll see why when I pull it up. Because there will be color in there. A little bit more water. Make this just a little bit more workable. And it's going to pull up because, like I said, the plate is not, has not been conditioned and super clean. So, and I just feel, and I want the brush strokes to show. I want all of it to show, and I don't want it to be one solid color. I want the variations of the color to show, and so that when I go in with my pen and ink, I'll have lots of choices on what to do. Now I picked these colors at random. I'm really not. worried specifically. The other one I did was very pastel, the other ones, and I kind of like that. I'm going to do three areas of each and then go back and see what I need. What else? Now while this advertised as a red, it, it's almost a brown. But I think it'll look nice with the other colors in here. Like I said, I'm going just barely touching the edge. The edges will be dry. It's the middle that won't be so dry. It is a pretty red, though. Let's do the a one big area red. I'm really liking that color. And that's the only reason I let the black dry any at all. I went in and got a sandwich and a drink because it is lunchtime. The only reason I let the black dry at all is because I wanted the edges to be clean. I think that's all we needed, that red. No, I said I was going to do three areas, but that's quite bold. All right, let's see what do we want. Let's go with the, I think that's, what is this? Is that black or purple? That's purple. Let's get a little bit of water in there. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm using a, a meat packing tray for a towel. I mean, they're disposable before you get rid of them. You might as well use them for a couple of things. And I'm only going to do two areas. I knew I'd do three areas. I've got two more, and I've got. I'm going to do it. This is golden open. 
but I'll put a piece of foil over the top of these tanks and I can use them for the next project. They're not going to dry out on me. That, well, at least not that quickly. Alright, let's hit the orange. Let's go bold with the orange. I got a little bit of purple still in my paintbrush, but it's actually giving it a nice. Ooh, I like it. Maybe here. Now, since I'm going to go over, I'm going to pull this all up with a an off-white, but either Titan Buff or I've got this other this other off-white that's kind of got a greenish tone to it. And I'm going to go back over that purple. That purple is separating way too much. But first, let's leave that brush in there to close. Well, it's been about an hour. And it's not totally 100% dry because it is thick paint. But it is dry in places. I'm going to pull it up with some Titan Buff. I've been working on my other gel plate. There's a bit of green on it, but it should work just fine. But I'm going to pull this up with Titan Buff onto the, um, I think I showed you the paper I've been using is the um, mixed media paper that I've been getting on Amazon. Fairly cheap, seven something for, seven ninety nine I think for uh, 100 sheets. And it's just the perfect size for my 8x10 gel plate. I think it's 9 by 11 or something. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull this up. And as you can see, it's not totally 100% dry. That, some of that purple is coming up on my brayer, which is not going to be a big deal. I'm going to give that a minute. And pull it up, with, put a little more on it. And you can see the places that are really wet are resisting this coat of Titan Buff, but that's okay. Because I'm not just trying to pull up the whole thing. Alright, now i got to be careful because now I'm starting to pull up um, what I don't want to pull up. Now this is going to be faint, a faint print, but I'm going to try and get th at least three off of this one that I can go back later on, accentuate with inks and maybe, I don't know, maybe collage on top of this is mixed media paper. It does take collage pretty well. I'm really pushing down, so hopefully I didn't pull up all of them. Nope. All right, so this is the first one. Now, can you see what I was talking about with how lovely it is when it's not, you can see the brush strokes? Can you see that? Let me see if I can come up without getting the glare. Can you see that? I really like that effect. And then when you go back with pen and ink, I mean, you can see a hundred things you can do on this print. And that's print number one. Now you still got loads of information on this plate, and I'm going to go after it. Still with Titan Buff. Now you don't need to use, I mean, you have, it, it looks better if it's something light. Doesn't have to be Titan Buff. I have this new color, I don't know what it's called, I'll have to pull it out. Maybe I'll do the last coat in that new, it's a green, but it's this, it's just about as light as this Titan Buff is. Now see, I don't want to do any more because I don't want to pull up all of it. So I don't want it too thick on top. I'm really going light. Ideally would be two passes across the plate with a thin, thin layer on your brayer. That would be ideal. I'm going to give this one a good push. I am pushing down. Wouldn't say I'm using all my strength, but I don't have that much strength, so I'm sure there's nobody who's not going to be able to do this. 
Oops, double negative. What did I really say? All right, this is my second pull. Now, the only thing I don't like about this one is you can see a definite where the brayer went. But once you throw the ink over the top of it, once you start putting in your lines and using black, I'm going to use black ink and white ink, I think. Maybe the white gel pen and black, maybe my black Posca pen and and start doing this, the doodling and the details on top, you're not going to see that white line. But can you see what I mean? I like where it's not solid. I mean, that much black, if, if it was solid, would just overpower the whole thing. That's number two. And I should only get three. I have been only getting three. But let's see. Maybe I can get four out of this one. I have been only getting three. And uh, stay tuned for the end of the video because I'm going to take one from each of the last two series that I did of these in the house and uh, do some doodling on it so I can give you an idea what I'm talking about. But what I'm doing these for is we're going camping and I want to take them, I want to take at least nine sheets with me of these pre done to do some loose drawing and doodling and. I was thinking when I did this one with the circles that I might put some faces in it. Now I'm just lightly going for the second pass in the opposite direction. That's what I didn't do in that last one. That's why those lines are so prominent. Hopefully they won't be as prominent in this one. And I'm using the same paper. I just bought a bunch of this and some uh, rice paper that I'm going to try out later in the week. Can't wait to try that stuff out. All right, I'm going to give this one a hard push, too. A little bit harder push than the last one. See how much I can pull up. Now, you can do these with pictures. I mean, this would look pretty if you did a, you know, a little primitive you know how they do those little primitive box houses? See how pretty this would look with that. And then you could ink over it. Oh, I think I'm going to get four out of this one. But this, it's starting to get really pale over here. But like I said, when I go back with the ink, I can accentuate that. And at this point, if I wanted to, I could go back and recolor in the, the darks and then do it that way. I think I'm going to not do that. Uh, I'm, I'm not really that bothered about how dark that is there. I mean, how light the dark is there. How light the dark is. Does that make any sense at all? Now, let me see if I can find... This is my box of Goldens. I'm going to see if I can find my new tube. I have very few large tubes, so it should be easy to find, unless I've got it out already, which may well be. I must have it out on the desk already. Well, and I don't know where. Since I've, been, I've been working on three different projects out here at once, and I really shouldn't do that. I do not recommend that. Because things get lost when you do that. All right, well, I'm just going to go over it. I think this time, this time we're going to put it on there, leave it on there, and let it totally dry. When it's totally dry, it should pull everything up. I'm going to go in the house and just leave it. I'm going to end the video here in suspense. And we're going to leave it till it's totally 100% dry. Try and pull it all up. I've got to clean my brayer, get ready for my next project. And we're just going to leave this to dry. Matter of fact, I'm going to set it aside because my next project I'm working on does not require. 
the gel plate. Now I get, I'm pressing down really hard. I'm making sure I'm getting those edges because that's where you need to you need to separate that first when you pull up one that's totally dry to keep it from tearing, to keep it actually coming up off the plate without ripping the paper. You have to make sure you separate those edges because the edges always have more paint. And they're thicker. And if you separate them first, all the way around and then start pulling it up you'll have much better luck than just trying pulling it just try pulling it up all right thank you for viewing my video you'll see this at a, in a picture at the end of the video and let me show you the ones of these that i did earlier which are going to look entirely different now the ones we just pulled up are these three. I'm going to try not to get them stuck together. This is the first one we pulled up, which I really like. Put that somewhere where it can dry. This is the second one we pulled up. Now I like that except for those those lines. I'm going to pull it up. You can see the detail. You do get nice areas. I like it. The texture is wonderful. You can see the paintbrush. And this is the last one that I pulled up. Very faint, but like I said, I'm going to be working into it. I've almost lost all the purple, but that's okay. I'm going to be working into it with, with uh, different things. And on this one, maybe I'll come in with color too, because it, it is lacking in places. But I'm going to take these in the house and I'm going to do at least one from each set. And at the end of the video, I'll put the pictures with the original and then the one that I've inked up. Now this is a little odd. This is the, la the set that I was working on this morning while I was doing other things. And I did not let this dry. I don't think even near as much as I let that set, the one I just did dry. I know there wasn't hours because I would, I would pull one and then clean in between. This is the first one that I pulled. Now oddly enough, on the set I just did, the first one is the darkest one. And on this Set. I think I've used a little bit more paint than I did this last time. And this is the first one. This is the second one. Odd. This is the third one. See how they're getting darker and darker? And this is the last one that I pulled, which was left for about four hours to dry on the plate. So you, you can get surprises with this because this is actually backwards of what I just did as far as results. But I, I have stuff to work with. And this one I worked with the, uh, instead of the black, the blue. I don't know if I like that better or not, but I did put a little blue in the black that we used on the set we just did, but I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I'm going to take a few in and I'm going to do a few. I need to have, you know, like I want eight or nine of them to take with me on camping trips. So I'll do, I'll do a few of each and I'll do another set of these later. But I will pull this up when I come back out. I'm going to come back out after I go shopping to clean a little bit more out here because I'm working on so many projects at once right now. Three of them on this desk and one on the other. So I need to get the projects finished and clean up. Um, so thank you very much for viewing my video. Stay tuned for those photos. Put a like if you like it, please. Subscribe if you want to see more. I thank all of you who are keeping up with my videos. It is so much fun to come out here and know that you're going to be watching this and that you're enjoying it. I think from the comments is what I'm getting. Thank you very much and you have a lovely, lovely day. Okay, this should be dry. It's been hours and I've got a lot of other work done. It might not be 100%, but we're going to see. Now I'm going to first separate, it looks like it's dry, the edges all around because that's where the paint is thicker. And I know I said I was just going to show you pictures, but I know a lot of people like to see these, what I used to call 24 hours, but prints come up.
Now I don't see it sticking anywhere other than that tiny place I just pulled. So we're ready to pull it up. Hand here. Give it a pull. Now I'm going to start pulling down on the plate and up on the paper. Hopefully it won't rip. God willing in the creek don't rise as my grandma used to say. And the last one is the most vibrant one. We actually found that purple that we lost in the other one. All right. There you are. First to last. Amazing. And like I said, stay tuned at the end of the video and I will have a couple of them that I've doodled on finished. So you can see what I'm talking about by embellishing them later because that's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Especially since I can do it while watching my British murder mysteries that I love so much. Thank you very much. Like I said, have a nice day. Stay tuned for the photos. It's been fun. Thank you very much.